I think Nell's significance to the computer science world is really in computer science education. So I've thought about it and thought about it and it's very hard to tell where it began. I was working at the University of Houston and they had a policy of letting you take a class if you were working there. And then I took a class on my lunch hour and then one night a week. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do clinical psychology or math. And I applied to graduate schools and they paid me more to go to math. They were just starting to have computer classes. And so I took everything they had and got a math degree, but it Math stopped being fun after the second semester, so it was the computing. My mother was very concerned that I finish, and so yes, she was very supportive, but I remember she said she watched graduation on television, and she said, boy, there were a lot of business graduates. She had never understood that I was a math major and not in the business school. So it was very much a family affair. I remember when I graduated hearing my three-year-old, that's my mother. And then I went and worked in industry for a few years, and then research for a few years, and then was in the first PhD class at the University of Texas in computer science. She's been one of my heroes for many, many years. In fact, at the beginning of my academic career, she was somebody who was on an advisory board at the University of Virginia where I was a faculty member and helping to develop the new computer science education curriculum. Yes, she was working at the University of Virginia before she went to Microsoft. And I was on a visiting board and met her then. She was so insightful. She was so kind in her phrasing of, of things that we might not have thought about. She was just somebody who really wanted to help. No, there was no discrimination in those days. It was all too new, and we were all, you know, just working together. You know, we were pioneers. You know, research shows that men plan careers, and women fall into them. I had a TA who wanted to write a book, and he said, I'll take your notes, and I'd always taught with overheads, and I'll write it, and we'll do it together. Well, it turned out that he couldn't write. He just had writer's block, he couldn't, it, he stared at blank pages, and my name was on a contract, and I discovered that's really what I was born to do, was to write. That's when I'm happiest, when I'm sitting writing. She's had tremendous impact in the computer science education world. Her textbooks have been among the leaders in all sorts of levels. And she's had influence in the way we teach these courses because of the way her textbooks are set up. One of the things I've always tried to focus on is that introductory computer science is not a language. You're teaching them how to problem solve and the target language just happens to be Pascal in the distant past, or C++, or Java, or whatever it is, that the language is not important. It's the problem-solving skills. The various languages that we've had, uh, the war, language wars we've had in computer science, Nell has never made the stand saying only this can be taught. She's been so flexible that her books have covered a wide range of introductory languages. She's just been a real supporter of the entire community. And we were fortunate. They were successful. They came out at just the right time. My talent is not challenging the rest students. My talent is taking a complex subject and describing it to the average student. And for years, I thought if I could just get some of these kids through, if I could just get them through the class, that they would be okay. And then I discovered 
that it really didn't work that way because the next class, the instructor wasn't going to spend that much time. So it's, no, it's the middle students, it's the one that need help that uh, I write for. Uh, because those are the ones I can help. Those are the ones that need what I can give. I'm really glad that we're recognizing her contribution to computer science education. And I haven't been teaching for a few years. I retired a few years, a few years back and, and concentrated basically on writing. I've taken up a cause, which is Alzheimer's. My husband died of Alzheimer's. And so I wrote a book of poetry chronicling his journey with Alzheimer's and have published it to raise money for Alzheimer's research. So that's my passion at the moment. Lost in time, Alfie, like any three-year-old, loves to ride in a car. He loves the feeling of the warm sun on his arms, watching the puffy white clouds floating in the sky, and especially seeing the crisscrossing contrails. We go out to a drive almost every day. Sometimes we go for ice cream, sometimes for french fries, sometimes to do errands, sometimes just to ride around. Our conversation varies little. You look beautiful. Thank you, Alfie. Where are we going? For a ride. You look beautiful today. Thank you, love. Where are we going? Uh, would you prefer ice cream or french fries? French fries. Didn't you know we've been married 44 years? Yes, Alfie, we've been very lucky. You look beautiful today. Then like a rainbow appearing after a raging storm, Alfie suddenly smiles, he straightens his shoulders, and he looks and sounds like the wonderful English gentleman husband. He's witty and charming and articulate for a few minutes. Then like the rainbow, he fades away. And it reminds me that he is there in my memory. He's not gone. He's just lost in time. I can always close my eyes and travel back to visit with him. Yes, Alfie, 44 years is a long time. We've been blessed. Nell has never made a big deal out of the fact she's a woman. She's a computer scientist, and that's what she is, and that's where her role has been so intr instrumental because she has been such a fabulous role model. I know she's, she's had a family, she's had a wonderful husband, she has wonderful children. Very sick. So she has done what we all dream to do. The Taylor Booth Award is a bookend. It's the last bookend on the shelf, and it's very special. And what makes it even more special is I'm uh, the first woman to receive it. Wake up every morning knowing it's going to be a beautiful day. You may need an umbrella, but it's going to be a gorgeous day.